All right, it's a little chilly this weekend, so where else should you go enjoy? To the ice, of course. That's because the Swamp Rabbits, they are back home. We got hockey this weekend, and it's some big doings. We've got Military Appreciation Night and PBR Night, and we are going to tell you all about it. Say hello to Mark Shelley, who represents the Swamp Rabbits, of course. Sean Willingham, a PBR, a 12-time world finalist bull rider in the house. You, you brought any critters with you? No critters. No, yeah. Just me. Just you. That'll be good. Do we have the, the bull, the mechanical bull back? Oh, I wish. I know, right? I we, may, we may need to, to, to do that. And then and Sarah Edwards, who represents Folds of Honor, she's a recipient. We'll tell you how these all go together. But Mark, let's start first. It's you know a fun weekend full of hockey. Yeah, absolutely. You know the Rabbits have been away for a little bit. Back at the well here, two game weekend set. It's a couple of rivals in town too, and it's uh, more importantly, you know, it's family fun out here. We got PBR night tonight, 7:05. We're excited about that. Have Sean out there for a little meet and greet as well, so fans can come out and meet him, uh, celebrate. The, the sport that has the athletes that might be the only guys uh, more more crazy than the, uh, the hockey than players, the, than the hockey right? Players, those two, right? those two, you want to take to a bar and have some good stories. Yeah, right and then yeah. Uh, and then then we have a military appreciation night presented by Budweiser tomorrow night. So obviously, uh, you know that that means so much more than hockey. Right. And uh, you know we're really excited to to work with Folds of Honor, to work with Budweiser, and, and to celebrate those who uh, who serve and who have served uh, our great nation and, and allow us to have games like this and to have nights like this. I love that. Sarah, tell us about Folds of Honor. Yeah, Folds of Honor is an organization that exists to provide scholarships for the families of fallen and wounded soldiers and first responders. So we in the state within the last year have raised over $500,000, which equivalents to over 100 scholarships that exist here in the state wow. of South Carolina. That's amazing. That is so great. And then look at, you know, they always have fun towels and stuff, but look yeah. closely. I mean, it's the jersey. It's the, <laughs> it's the jersey like Sarah is will wear. This is what the players will be wearing. Yeah, this is for tomorrow night um, when we take on the Savannah Ghost Pirates, 7.05. We got a pregame party as well out there yeah. uh, at 5 o'clock. Budweiser giving away these rally towels, 500 of them at that party. Doors open at 6. And uh, these jerseys here, the players will wear. And if you look on the back, the numbers, Oh, uh, those are the, so cool. have the American cool. flag through. Oh, I love uh, that. Uh, yeah, they and look obviously great. presented by Budweiser, and there's a post-game auction as well. These are going to go to benefit Folds of Honor, so oh, we're really cool. excited about that. And that's that's all following up on uh, on PBR night tonight, which we're really excited for as well. So tell us about PBR night. What are we going to see? Yeah, so it all sort of works in this military appreciation weekend as well. So uh, our game partner, uh, Kent Wool, uh -huh. 250 veterans at the game can go to their table and receive a free pair of these patriotic socks. Uh, we're really excited to be they're working so with, with Kent Wool, right? They're, they're some of the greatest socks. Uh -huh. They are I'm, amazing. You know, maybe, maybe a few pairs will find their way home with me uh, yeah. as, as well. So uh, yeah. Yeah, watch the, this, Mark. <laughs> there right? you Boom, go. It's no. gone. Uh, but the, the uh, socks there for veterans, you know, we're really excited about that. And then obviously, celebrating PBR. We have a 12-time world finalist and Sean here that, that fans can come out and uh, they can meet him and uh, you know he can he can share all the, the excitement here and PBR is coming to town in just a couple of weeks so I know uh, you know that's something fans are really looking it's forward to. It's one of the hottest like sporting events. It's like you know taken back right. over and people you know <laughs> love it. We love it around here. 12 time winner. How did you get started into well, it? Well I don't know. I was too lazy to work and I was too scared to steal. <laughs> <laughs> so I started riding bulls. It was just something, you know, as a kid, I grew up playing sports as an athlete. Yep. You know, I didn't grow up on a farm or I didn't have cows, horses or none of that. And I went to a hometown rodeo and saw the bull ride and they make a big deal when bull riding starts. Hey, get your kids off the fence, you know, pay attention. And nobody could ride for eight seconds. So I'm right. like, as a competitor, I'm like, we don't just eight seconds. How, yeah, and, that's a fast time. And so I tried it and I was not good at it. And the competitive <laughs> side of me come out and I was bound to determine I was going to ride one for eight seconds before I did anything. And then I figured it out. I'm like, wow, this is pretty interesting. And then it, it just fell in suit. You know, after that, I high school rodeo, got a full ride to play college, you know, ride bulls up for a college, you know. Right. And then I just, after that, a year of college, I said, hey, I'm going professional and never looked back since. That is so funny. You know, today is Friday the 13th, and we were talking about superstitions yeah. and stuff. We didn't know. Someone about to get on a bull. Are there anything that you do where you just, like, let your mind go? What is... You do. You definitely have to let your mind go. And, you know, when you're when you're riding a 1,600-pound animal that wants you off his back immediately, you know, you kind of block everything out. And, it's, you know, that is your time. you got 
you and the bull for eight seconds and nothing else matters in the world. I love that. People are going to be coming up. What advice would you give? Because we've had some little, you know, uh, I can't remember the exact name. They're like little rodeo-esque yep. kids from like one of the high schools. And they all, you know, had dreams of doing what you are doing. I mean, just if you're going to be a professional bull rider, you have to be tough and be willing to put the work into it other than sitting at home and trying to, to do the least amount. Right. <laughs> when you're riding bulls competitive at this level, you better be 100% all committed every day of the week. Yeah, you can't go sit on that bull and be like, yeah. And then there's not like something we can go and say, hey, we can go and practice, uh, you know, like there's mechanical bulls and there's all this other stuff, but it, right. it never equivalents to getting on the real animal. So if you want to be the best and be at this top level, you have to go get on the live animal and which the risk is still there, the injuries are still there just for practice to try to figure out how to stay at this level. How to stay. It's a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more than I'm willing to try. So. It is crazy. But this is going to be super cool. You're going to get to watch some great hockey. Both games at 7.05? 7.05 puck drop. Doors open at 6. we got the party uh, at 5 tomorrow night. And then where do we get to see him and talk to him? Yeah, absolutely. We'll have Sean out on the concourse uh, all night long. So fans can show up 6 o'clock tonight. And... Uh, it's a rivalry game with the Florida Everblades oh, too, so you get, you get that in there as well. So uh, they can come meet Sean tonight out, out on the concourse and uh, enjoy a, a great week of, weekend of hockey and uh, wrap things up with Military Appreciation Night tomorrow. We love it too. Y'all got like a cool band too, I hear, that's going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah full spectrum. The uh, the U.S. Air Force's uh, rock band, uh, part of the heritage band that the, uh, the Air Force has, they're going to play... Uh, a pregame set and during the intermissions as well. We're really excited for that and uh, we're excited to bring back the uh, Folds of Honor ticket package as well with the uh, the t-shirts and the seats that form the flag and uh, you know you get a couple of beers you get the t-shirts and uh, ultimately you get a uh, donation back to Folds of Honor. All the things and don't forget the Your Carolina special you can check that out but just go to swamprivates.com for all the information. Thanks guys. It was, it was good to meet you. Thank you. Very cool. Very